We're on the shores of Lake Catharabar this morning. I mean, Noosa's beautiful enough, but if you've never been to the Noosa Everglades, I mean, take a look around. This place is magnificent. We're at Habitat Noosa. I've got some good mates here in a Jayco journey. They're fast asleep, but I'm going to go and wake them up because this morning's too good to miss out on. Well, here's the van, and as expected, I should have known they're already awake. I don't think these two miss much. Hello. Hi. How are you going? Good, how are you? Yeah, good. Nothing better than a van site. Uh, on the water and you don't get no, much closer than this, do you? Nothing better at all. Yeah, it's so awesome being down here by the water. Do you, have you been here before? No. No, no we haven't. Um, it's an awesome spot with the eco tents and everything. We what? have looked at it a little bit, but we just never made it up yet. I was going to say, by the sounds of things, one of the few places you haven't been to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we try to get around. Tell me about van life. Where, how did it all begin for you two? <laughs> um, we came out of a camper trailer. Uh, we actually did a lap around Australia. Uh, before that, we never really went camping at all, or myself. Um, then going around Australia in a camp trailer in summer made us think about a Jayco with the aircon and the facility inside, uh, the van and the toilet and shower and kitchen and the stuff. inside kitchen and the safety as well, being able to lock yourself in and lock all of your stuff inside. I guess like with the camper trailer, we couldn't do that. Yeah. We had to make sure everything was either in the car or in storage underneath it. You guys um, aren't the traditional, you know, nomads, I suppose. They're normally a bit more closer to my age than yours. <laughs> yeah. What are you, early 20s, mid 20s or something? Mid 20s, yeah. Wow. Not great yet. That's fantastic, <laughs> though. Yeah. Like, and you know, you've found each other, both love adventure and that spirit of travel and stuff. I think it's a big thing for us being young, like we don't really party all that anymore. We go camping, so Jayco's a perfect fit for us usability on the weekend and we work full time so we try and go every second weekend at least mm, yeah. and then we go a big trip or a three week trip at Christmas is what our plan is. Tell me a bit about uh, Seek Life, what's that? Uh, we just started a YouTube channel um, just to learn sort of filmmaking and a new skill um, and get used to being on camera and stuff like that, something both of us have never really done. Um, Seek Life means see it, uh, exercise, exercise, adventure, and Nick and Beck, both K, so oh. Seek Life. We in, both our names end in a K. Yeah, that where we that's why it's that. spelled wrong. In this country that we live in, it lends itself to uh, to that sort of thing, doesn't it? I mean, it's... Definitely. So tell me some of the best places that you've been to. One of my favourites is probably Exmouth. Yeah. yeah. What did you like? Yeah. You uh, like um, James Price Point? Yeah, I like Cook, uh, Cooktown, Broome. Um, they're pretty awesome. Uh, T.Y. Beach is pretty good, just on the sunny coast here. We took Jake up there down the beach and yeah, we had a highlight for our Land Cruiser. First trip we did in, oh no, it was the second one. First one off road we did with the van. Yeah. Beach was yeah, full awesome. off grid. It's awesome. So if people want to have a look at uh, some of your adventures, obviously Seek Life on yeah. YouTube. Seek Life on everything. everything. Seek Life on everything. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what you should do, my friends. You should be seeking life on everything, just like these two young whippersnappers. Yeah. So what's on today? What are you going to do? You're going to head out on, that's a beautiful lake, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to go for a paddleboard. We're going to brave the cold and we're going to go for a nice paddleboard. I might go in the canoe. <laughs>